Hi, this is Alex from phbacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be talking about error reporting, and I'm going to be speaking a bit why error reporting is important during development, and then again why it's important to turn it off when um, you're not developing and when you're releasing software, or releasing code rather, onto a public web server um, for public use. Now let's take a look at what error reporting is. Now if I was to create a PHP uh, document, and I've got my PHP tags here, and I was to say, um, write in some invalid code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to make this equal to Alex, but I'm missing out the line terminator, which is a semicolon. So I'm missing that out on purpose. Now, at the moment, my error reporting is turned off. So when you're developing, you may find that your code will not run even if you have output outside of your PHP tags. So let's put this into uh, practice in an example. I'm going to refresh my page. Now, you can see that nothing has been returned to us, no errors or no output at all. Uh, let's, in fact, echo this here. Um, we can demonstrate that, that we're getting no output whatsoever. Oh, we are. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we are because... Um, it's the only line in our code. So let's create another variable down here called Billy. Uh, remember PHP works on a line by line basis so if you've got only one line in your program you're not required to use a semicolon. But I'm going to put another variable in there as well and I'm going to refresh the page and you'll see that no content appears whereas it did before. So no content appears but no error message has been given. So we need to turn error reporting on to our select value um, of error reporting, our select, um, how can I say, um, settings, if you like, um, of error reporting. And I'll, I'll explain this in a minute when we take a look at our php.ini file. Now, if you open up your um, exam um, PHP location where the PHP folder exists, um, for me, this is c colon backslash for uh, sorry c colon backslash exam backslash php, and we need this file called php.ini. So I'm going to double click on this and open this. We've opened it in Notepad, and I'm going to go and find on the page uh, error reporting. So now you can see we've come down to this error handling and logging place here. We have an explanation here of each stage. Um, or each setting rather of um, error reporting. So, for example, if we were to set error reporting to E all, this would report all errors and warnings, but not including E strict. E error, fatal runtime errors, E warning, runtime warning. So we have all these different types of warnings and errors that we can allow our user to see or, or us as a developer to see. Um, but by default, I think mine is actually set to zero. So let's go down. Uh, okay, so we've got error reporting equals zero. And this is error reporting off altogether. As we've seen in our browser, we've not retrieved an error or not been returned with an error, even though we're missing a semicolon. Our page isn't working. Now, it's also great to note that if we were to have outside content, outside of our PHP tags, this is also not gonna, going to be displayed. Now, you may have come across this before where you've created a PHP document, you've had outside and inside PHP comments, so you've got HTML comment, uh, content here, and then you've got PHP content inside here, but you're just getting a blank page up. Take a look inside your PHP.ini file and check for this, check error reporting, and I can pretty much guarantee most of the time it's going to equal zero. So, what we need to do is we need to change this to something that's going to give us back an error. And there's a few examples here, but we can create our own custom if you like. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be dealing with e all. So you can say e all. Now, bear in mind this doesn't equal e strict, so we'll have a look at that in just a moment. So we've got e all here. Now let's go and say, go ahead and save this. So save. We, what we need to do now is we need to restart our Apache uh, server. So we come into our exam control panel, click stop and click start. This may be slightly different for you, you might be uh, using another um, package installation. Now what we can do is we can open up our browser and click refresh 
and you can see that it's giving us our error back. So we're saying here, pass error, expecting a comma or expecting a semicolon on line four. So what we can do now is go over to line four and you might think, well, I've got a semicolon on line four, but in actual fact, it's referring to the end of this line, meaning it's expected either here or in terms of reading it, it's expected here. So when we fix this and we refresh, you can see that it's working fine. So we've got our outside content and our inside content.